Good morning. We are at Cairo International Airport. It is 4.15 a.m. I look like a zombie, hence the glasses. I think I slept two and a half hours, but we're flying to Luxor. And supposedly has amazing, amazing sights to view. The Valley of the Kings on the East Bank and a lot of beautiful temples on the West Bank. So we're excited, super tired, but excited. See you later. Hey everyone, this is Khalid. He's our tour guide from Luxor Tours. He's amazing. He's taught us so much already. It's so much to remember. Um, I have a question for you. Yes. Of all the sites in Luxor, which yeah. is the most fascinating one? The most fascinating one at all, and not compared to any other places in the world, are the Karnak temples and the Valley of the Kings and Queen Hatshepsut Temple and Habu Temple. And we are going to all of it! All of them! Which is awesome! <laughs> so let's go! Let's go! We just arrived at the Karnak temples which were built or they started building them 4,000 years ago and it was all in the name of the god Amun-Ra and I think we're in for something really special so bear with me interesting fact only 13 years ago people used to live around here basically on the ruins and on the temples that we're gonna see and the government had to remove them not forcefully but they just shut down electricity and water so. Would you guys believe if I tell you that all these amazing pillars were built in only 20 years by two kings? In ancient Egypt, they used to put a crown of gold on top of the obelisk. ton only six months and 10,000 people is what it took to build this baby up here and some fun facts Cleopatra was actually Greek not Egyptian and all of these ruins that you will see here have been restored by the stepbrother of Alexander the Great And now being here and looking up to these pillars that are I don't know how many times larger than I am it's it's unbelievable 
So that was the Karnak temples. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Made it to the rooftop restaurant where we will have our Egyptian lunch, and this is our view. The amazing Nile, 7,000 kilometers long, it runs through 10 countries. It's the largest river in the world. We just arrived at the Valley of the Kings which is known for the tombs that were created right below the mountain which already has the natural shape of a pyramid. It was great. We paid money to feed that people. <laughs> Three weeks ago they found the 65th tomb. So now when you look at the signs there's only 64 and they're still looking there are still many kings supposedly buried here valley of the kings is very famous for having the tomb of tutagamon which is uh, one of the most famous egyptian kings but his his life was very short and he ruled very short so his tomb is very small and it's actually more famous for the stories and the treasures than the actual tomb so ramses and other kings had bigger and more impressive tombs so our guy khalid is going to show us the better tombs and we'll get to take a look at that so i'm really excited flabbergasted about what I just saw. It's basically unimaginable that they created this, how many people actually gave their lives to create something special for the afterlife of their kings. So it's unimaginable. the artisans were taken care of very well they got a lot of treasures for doing this amazing work for actually dedicating their life and to them it was dedicating their life to their kings and the kings were seen as sons of God so it was kind of indirectly dedicating their life to God so that resulted in this amazing amazing work that we can enjoy up until today
big artisan shop where they create the most authentic sculptures, vases, lamps, and basically everything you can imagine from alabaster stone. It's actually the family of one of the discoverers of the tomb of Tutankhamun that actually are doing all of this. And all of these, rep they're so close to the actual uh, artifacts found in the tombs that they're, uh, they have special certificates when you buy it here. We just arrived at the Colossi of Memnon and they are huge as Donald Trump would say. years ago this used to be the toilet of a king we're leaving the Habu temple now after a very intensive tour it is most definitely worth coming it's on the west bank of Luxor and it's built 3200 years ago by one king and he built it in 30 years compared to they call it the Karnak temple of the West Bank as you will see they have much deeper engravings and they have much more color to the engraving so it's most definitely worth coming I had an amazing time thank you Luxor Travels for guiding us through it was an amazing experience and I wouldn't have it any other way I would definitely recommend getting Luxor Travels as your tour. I would definitely recommend getting a tour guide to help you and tell you all the stories behind it and all the stories about the gods and the way the Egyptians were thinking and what they were trying to record. Okay, they're waiting for me. So uh, what I wanted to see was... I actually don't remember, but this was worth it. I love you too. What's up? Hello, I'm filming you. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Did you guys like the tour? Yeah, the end was a bit intense, I have to admit. The beginning was fun, the end was intense. You have to be nice in yeah. the vlog. You cannot be honest in the vlog. <laughs> How did you like the tour? <laughs> it was really cool actually. Our friend uh, Haled knew a lot about Egyptian uh, Egyptology. So. He had a master in Egyptology. Yeah. Huh? So we got lucky. I think I'm gonna live there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, how about mom? Hi. How did you like the tour? It was great, lots of information to digest, but uh, are you very, happy you came very, to Luxor? Oh yes, definitely, definitely. I'm, I'm so, so happy I had the opportunity to see all of this, very good. That was
was the review of Queen Sushi. <laughs> She's gonna be mummified and we will find her tomb here in a few thousand years. I'm so grateful for this dream trip and there's still so 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 much to see so i might be coming back at some point in the future i really hope you enjoyed this vlog so please do not forget to subscribe because i will be doing a lot more traveling and i would love to take you all with me so bye